Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at another Star Wars Transformers crossover. It is Darth Vader to Star Destroyer. And to be honest, I completely forgot I owned this figure. I think I bought this one night at a Meyer on a random purchase. Um, yeah, and it sat in one of my back storage rooms, totally forgot about it, ran across it because I was looking for my Millennium Falcon set, and saw it sitting there, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick review on it. Now, this is a figure I'm not going to take out of the package, um, mainly because I, it's kind of cool the way it sits, and it has lights and sounds, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, uh, taking a look at this figure, this is the second Darth Vader, or actually third Darth Vader figure they've done. Second large one. Uh, they did his TIE Bomber, or his Advanced TIE Fighter. Uh, they also did a uh, Death Star, where he turned into a Death Star, a la uh, Primus and Unicron, which I really wanted to get that one, but I never got around to picking it up. Um, I think that's why I ended up getting this one, because I wanted something Darth Vader, um, Transformers, and yeah, so, uh, but yeah, this guy's kind of interesting, um, we got the Star Wars logo up there, he has four, uh, in, uh, four modes and one toy, uh, he's got two vehicles and two different robots, and, um, I forgot about that too, uh, which is kind of cool, so let's look at him here, um, there he is in the package. Of course, he's got the lights and sounds, which we'll go over. Uh, there he is in robot mode. He's got these massive wings that light up. He's got the red sword. Um, there's the Star Destroyer. Kind of looks like... Um, let me get this focused here. Uh, the Star Destroyer kind of almost looks like it's on fire from the light effect there. Uh, and he also turns into Anakin Skywalker, um, as well as uh, Anakin's cruiser. Um, come on, focus. There we go. Uh, so it, it, the the Jedi cruiser that we see in Revenge of the Sith fighting the prototype Star Destroyers. Uh, there is Vader down there, of course. We got the Transformers logo, Darth Vader to Star Destroyer. Kind of cool. It does come with uh, three AA or AAA batteries, which were included, which is nice. Um, yeah, and there he is. He looks rather buff. He's kind of Arnold Schwarzenegger out right there. And uh, yeah, he's got the Imperial logo on his forehead which I don't particularly care for, but, eh, it's okay. Um, he's got this kind of grimlocky, flamey sword. Um, he's, it looks like he's a bit of a parts former. You've got big chunks of Star Destroyer down there. There's big chunks of Star Destroyer up in the corner uh, that you can see. And, yeah, that looks like it's about it. And, of course, you've got the folded pieces down there. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, the top of the package, uh, it's not much. You can just kind of see down the top there. Uh, what's underneath? Anything? Oh, what else can you get? Collect them all! You've got Darth Vader, his advanced tie. You've got Anakin as a proto Y-Wing. The battle droid turns in the hover tank, and that one has actually looked pretty cool. Darth Maul is the Sith infiltrator. Anakin in his jet Jedi starfighter, and then Obi-Wan in his. Um, really, out of these, I think these two were the only ones that looked like they were worth anything. But having experienced the Boba Fett, I didn't even bother picking them up. Uh, it just... Didn't do anything for me. Uh, side of the package, we have him as Anakin uh, with his uh, blue sword. Not very Anakin looking to me. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, there's the Jedi Starfighter, which looks pretty cool. Uh, on this side is going to be Vader, I presume. Yep, Darth Vader. And instead of a lightsaber, he's got this flaming saber. And it's very, very strange. And it's kind of cool that uh, you've got the black and uh, red logo, kind of a mirror image that's kind of interesting, uh, considering the character is kind of a mirror image. So, and we got, he turns into the Star Destroyer down there, which is kind of cool. Here's the back side of the package. Here's a wide shot. Uh, both robots and both vehicles. Um, here is the bio. If you want to pause and read that, you can. Uh, here he is in his robot mode. Um, actually, I don't, that looks like it's molded plastic, not lit up, actually. Lit up? light it up. Uh, it lights up here on his head and on his chest. Um, but yeah, kind of interesting. And then we've got Anakin, who lights up in blue, which is kind of cool. Um, and the front of the Star Destroyer looks like it's his shield, so that's kind of interesting. Um, he does have projectile missiles. Uh, again, there are both vessels. 
and there are the projectile missiles for the Star Destroyer. So kind of cool stuff. Um, so what does he say? Let's find out. Very cool. Oh, I see what they did there. I wonder if that's James Earl Jones actually saying that. Trans impressive. Most impressive. Nice. Transformation sound, maybe? That's a classic. Join me on the dark side. Join me on the dark side. That's obviously kind of off. Release your anger and complete your transformation. <laughs> impressive. Most impressive. The force is strong. Alright, so that looks like all he says. I, I don't know what Anakin says. Because, um, well, I've never taken it out of the package. If you do know what his uh, um, actual voice scripts are, write it down in a comment below. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, just kind of a quick look at the Star Wars Transformers crossover Darth Vader into Star Destroyer. I think this was one of the last of those figures actually to be released because that line has since... Uh, concluded. Um, I can't think. I think they did a few smaller vehicles after this one. This is definitely the last of the large figures released for sure. So there he is, Darth Vader from the Transformers Star Wars crossover line, turning into a Star Destroyer. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hated it, thumbs it down. Please share my vids and uh, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. If there's something you want me to review, uh, leave a note down in the comments below. I love reading, and I love commenting back with you guys. Um, as always, look for more videos in the future.